Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a Honeywell Spark Ignition. It's an intermittent pilot spark ignition control. So this one happens to be an S86H. Okay, uh, I just want to go over this just so you know, say how to troubleshoot them, and just so you know how they work when you run into them in the field. So right now, this transformer is not plugged in, but what we're going to do is we're going to send 24 volts from there to here. All right, so you have your 24 volts in, and then you have your 24 volt coming coming back out. When you power this control, two things are going to happen. One, you're going to have spark. Uh, you're going to have voltage coming across here. It could be anywhere from, say, 6 to uh, 15, maybe even 20,000 volts, depending on the module that you are working with. Uh, so the larger the, the spark gap, the higher the voltage. All right, so this one is somewhere is around uh, about an eighth of an inch, maybe uh, uh, three sixteenths of an inch right here, spark. So it's going to spark between this rod and this metal right here. At the same time, it sends voltage to spark across to the ground. What's also happening is it's sending 24 volts to PV, and then and that's going to the solenoid valve on the gas valve, and it's coming back to MVPV. So MVPV is the common. This is the common okay, for the MV, which is the main valve, and it's the common for the PV. So first things first, as soon as you send voltage to this, you're going to get 24 volts from PV to MVPV, and your spark will be occurring. So that's what we're going to do. As well, this ground, it says, and it also has it in parentheses underneath it, it says burner. So this ground wire has to touch uh, this ground basically to the furnace. So obviously we have this out right now, so this will be in a different location, uh, many times actually on the gas valve itself uh, as the ground, because what's happening is you have the ground for this traveling through this rod and coming back to the gas valve. So it's going to grab that ground uh, as close uh, to uh, where this is occurring as possible. Okay, So if this ground, if you have a, a, a a ground that doesn't have a very good contact, you're going to have a problem proving a flame. This actually uses flame rectification right here. There's no thermocouple, it's just a, uh, a rod sending AC voltage through, and then it travels through the flame, it rectifies and sends uh, DC microamps through this ground wire to the control right here. So uh, what we'll do is we're going to end up jumpering this to the metal right here. I'll make sure that you can see that. Actually, I'll put this over here. Okay. First things first, let's go ahead and, and put power to this transformer, and then we're going to read to make sure we have 24 volts from PV to MVPV. So you see we have our alligator clamps already on those wires, so we're going to turn the power on. Our multimeter is set to volts AC. So we have our spark right there, and we have... 27.54 volts. As soon as we have a flame going across here and the DC microamps traveling through the ground wire back to the control, we're then going to get 24 volts from MV to MVPV. And that will turn the main burner on and then you'll have your heat exchanger warming up. Then you're going to have to have another control like a uh, fan limit control in order to turn the blower motor on and also as a limit to make sure that the furnace doesn't overheat. So you might have something that looks like this. This is a fan limit control. All right. Uh, this will be able to have a limit on this side. And uh, so if, if it ever gets up to this third knob setting right here, you see this is a third one. So if it ever gets up too high, uh, then it's going to shut off the main power to the entire furnace. On this side, uh, it's going to turn on at the, whatever the second knob is. Okay, the second knob is typically set right around 120 degrees, 120 degrees, and then the fan is going to shut off at 90. All right, while I was explaining that to you, the spark shut off. All right, so what it does is it does that for about 90 seconds. It's going to, it actually says it on here. Uh, each one will be a little different depending on which one you, you get. Some will be 120 seconds, uh, but it says. Uh, 90 seconds max trial for the pilot ignition in order to spark it. So if that happens, you can just turn the power off, turn it back on. Maybe you didn't uh, purge the gas all 
you know, the gas out or something like that on initial startup. Uh, you wouldn't have to do that if it was a, if the uh, furnace was existing and the gas was on. That that would be no problem. Uh, but this does have 90 seconds to prove a flame. So if you have a flame, okay, and uh, you're still not getting voltage to MV to uh, common MVPV going to your gas valve to allow gas down your burners, it's most likely a flame rectification problem, which you really need to check this ground. You need to make sure you turn the power off you, and steel wool this rod right here uh, and just kind of go testing uh, for, for maybe grounding issues right there. Maybe it's just not making good contact. So we're going to turn the power off now. And we're going to move these alligator clips onto MV and MVPV. I'm going to take a torch across here while it's sparking to prove there's a flame. And then we should get 24 volts from MV to MVPV. So we're going to turn the power off first. We're going to switch this alligator clip with the other one right here. And we have our multimeter turned on V. I'm just going to turn it off and turn it back on just in case the battery was to shut off on me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put a flame across there. And now you see we have 27 volts. Okay, 27 volts is going to the main gas valve, allowing gas to flow through. So that's how it works. So you saw 27.5 volts, and, and now you're going to see no volts. So I'm going to turn the power off for a second, and we're going to disconnect this ground. And I'm going to put the torch on it again, but this time it's not going to give us power to the main valve. So here we go. We're going to, well, let's just disconnect this one. Turn it back on. It's sparking across there. And we are not getting any 24 volts. It even got kind of red there. I'm going to turn the power back off. And put it back on there. It doesn't take very, very long at all for that flame rectification signal to be received by the board here. You can see also the arcing is a lot stronger, obviously, now that we have the ground attached. It's a path back. Okay, not very long at all, 27 volts right there. So that's how it works, okay? So if you have a problem with this, I'm going to turn the power off. If you have a, a problem with this, you just got to figure where, where in the sequence the problem is. So do you have 24 volts to this, okay? If you don't have 24 volts, uh, then, then this is not the problem. You have to get 24 volts over to it. After that, you should immediately get 24 volts from, from uh, PV to MVPV. Remember, this is common right here. This one right here, MVPV is common. At the same time, you're going to have your spark. Your spark is going to be occurring over here. If that's not occurring, then you want to check along this, this wire here. Your spark is not making it to this point. It's arcing somewhere. So maybe there's a break in this, in this wire right here. The other thing with the power off, take some unsoaped steel wool, and you clean this rod off right here. That's the other thing. You want to make sure that you have a pretty close gap. Most of them are, are right around about an eighth of an inch or so. And if you have that gap and you have 24 volts going from PV to MVPV, and then you see a flame here, okay, then that means that you, you have a flame and, and you're just not getting flame rectification signal back. And if you say your main valve is not turning on for the burners, if you're not getting 24 volts from MV to MVPV and you do have a flame here, that is a flame rectification problem. Okay, it could be a problem in this, but it's more likely that you have a problem with your with your ground wire right here. But if you have it going through the sequence, 24 volts in, power to PV coming back through common, gas gets lit then flame rectification occurs after say one second or so then you should have 24 volts from mv to mvpv and if you have a good ground then the control module is the problem if you don't have a flame here but you do have power from pv to mvpv 
and it's right around say 27 or 28 volts or it's, even if it's 24 volts um, if you're not getting gas here then you need to look at why uh, maybe your gas pressure is low maybe your gas valve is stuck uh, maybe this little orifice right here is clogged okay that could be a couple of reasons all right but that's how that works hope you enjoyed yourself we'll see you next time at ac service tech channel